switch. All right. So we're finishing up our iron body training. And this is the last thing we're doing for tonight. And uh, we're tired. We've been sparring and doing weight vest conditioning and now iron bone. So it's time to drink the iron bone internal tea that's going to heal us faster. Let's go for it. So the iron bone training is done. We're ready to drink our internal tea to heal quickly. We also use liniments that go on the outside of the skin, but this tea is fantastic. So I got my clay pot, which is, I've heard, I've read a lot, much better than metallic pots. And just do a Google search for the reasons why. Something about how the metallic pots ionize the water or something going on where it um, kind of eliminates a lot of the uh, beneficial uh, parts of the tea. So I've always heard the clay pots are better. This one's electronic. You just plug it in and you can see on this side a red light turns on when it's starting to brew. I believe I got this one in Chinatown, Los Angeles uh, when I was there a few years ago. And we'll just let that brew. If you uh, could see on the inside, you can see how the bubbles are starting to, to go and um, it's starting to get hot. And it will get really hot. I didn't, I didn't think it would the first time I got it, but it does. And the tea is in this golden pouch. And so again, we're using the tea from the Oriental Herb Company. Um, I don't get any money from them. I just love their product. And I love uh, the guy, who, the owner of the company is so knowledgeable about iron bone, iron body training, and about herbs. Um, and this even says, Oriental Herb Company, 1-800-635-HERB. Uh, if you're from Canada, or herb if you're from the US. So my fiance, Pamela and I are both from Canada, so we uh, grew up with Herb, or you can call them direct at 847-639-7191 or at orientalherb.com. Uh, I really would love if these guys were uh, stay around if they're successful because their, their herbs, their liniments are second to none. And uh, the ingredients are all on there, you can see. And I've told by, um, by the owner, his name is Dean, that it's all clean room grown organic herbs that he uses. They're even, um, they even go beyond that. They only brew their liniments, especially um, the external liniments, and I think the teas as well, during the change of the seasons, as was the traditional way. They even let them ferment for six months at a time. Some of the, the formulas he uses have been fermenting in the same vat for years. So you're really getting a potent liniment if you order from these guys. And uh, this one is called the Brews Tea. And so the Brews Tea, if you can get in on that, it says, healing energy for bumps and bruises. During times of war, this formula was a standby of professional warriors because it stimulates healing energy to aid in recovering from battle. This wushu formula soothes the energy flow and relieves tension in muscles, ligaments, and tendons, relaxing areas of stiffness, building chi, and invigorating the blood, protecting the true chi used after a hit, a hit resulting in a bump, bruise, or sprain helps break up black and blue marks and cools the heat created by an injury. It can also be used as a preventative when pursuing a short period of especially intense training. So I think that he said you can even just take a little teaspoon of this and put it in some water and just drink it like in a, in a drink as you're training. But the tea, of course, brings out a lot of the flavor and the bitterness and the, I think a lot of the healing benefits. So it says here directions add half to a one teaspoon per cup of boiling water and let steep for three minutes. Stir before each sip or let the herbs settle to the bottom of the cup. Add citrus uh, or like agave nectar, or something like that for flavor. So we're gonna use this right now. I have three cups to go for it. So what I do is I've been using it for a while, I just kind of eyeball it. So do you wanna get a, get a look at what that looks like in there? You can see and the other herbs are powdered pretty nicely. And uh, I don't know, that's, maybe that's about one teaspoon. And there's about two teaspoons and there's about three. So we'll put about that much of it in there. It looks kind of like a powdered flower, kind of yellowy, almost like there's turmeric in there or something. There's, turmeric's not in there, but it looks kind of like kind of yellow color. And it smells kind of sweet. But when you drink it, it's not as sweet. It's kind of bitter. So now that the water is boiling, we'll throw some of this in there. You want to get it? I'll bring it out so you guys can see. Kind of throw that in. 
And then I have my chopstick. Give it a little stir. So again, this is a wooden chopstick, so it's not metal. There we go. Let's put the cap back on and we'll let that steep for three minutes as the directions say. So I'll come back in three minutes. All right, so it started to boil and uh, you can already tell because it's starting to smell pretty good. So I unplugged it. Let's unplug it from the back, bring it out. And um, what you can see is that sometimes the, scent, the sediment kind of floats at the top. So we want to give it one last stir. It's nice and dark brown. And I don't know if you guys can bend in there and take a smell. It smells pretty good. Yeah? So it smells pretty bitter. It smells familiar. So I just happen to have three cups here. These cups are great. Uh, I don't know if you can see. My, grand, my grandfather gave me these cups. He got back in World War II from Japan. These cups are cool. They're like an Asian style looking cup with a nice green color. And they almost have like hearts on the outside. And what it is is the middle of the cup. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. The middle of the cup has um, a separation uh, barrier from the outside. So when you hold the outside, it won't burn your hand. These are the cups I drink when I drink my tea. Let's hope there's no lead <laughs> encased inside the paint job on the, on the cups. So we got our tea going on, and we'll uh, serve it out here. Hope I didn't make it too strong for, for you guys. Just happened to have three cups. I knew there'd be three of us. I learned a Chinese quote before that was, uh, the hotter the tea is when you drink it, the, the better it is for you. So, cheers. It's hot. Oh, I can feel it healing me already. Let's hope it's instant. Anyways, there's our video about our internal tea. We combine this bruised tea with the external liniments we put on before and after our training, and that way we uh, will look normal. Our skin will be not all blistered and calloused. It'll be normal looking, but the bones on the inside will be tough and strong and will heal from that injury very quickly. Um, I would always do this tea maybe with a little bit of food. Um, that way you can, uh, the nutrients of the food will carry the nutrients of the tea and absorb better in your body. Good luck with it. Check it out. Bruise tea. Get one for yourself. And uh, may you have strong bones and longevity in your training. Mm-hmm.